position, and they're going up against Shaw. Are they triple pandas, though? <laughs> that's the question. Uh, double. Or? I think they're playing double panda. They normally do. And that's a 90% win rate. You guys have a lot of faith in the Gosu crew. Well, they're just such a strong team, honestly. The, the, the amount of crowd control Ooh. that they're able to put out and the amount of aggressive pressure is really, really remarkable. So we'll have to see the Gosu crew, how they can get aggressive. Right now, they're going to be opening up onto Dark Swag, putting out quite a bit of damage right now. Very early on with the silence over on a flop. Let's see if they can follow up that CC chain. Yeah, they found Swag and Stealth with that Mind Seer, which returned in Battle for Azeroth. But in the meantime, Shore is swinging back with triple crowd control, trying to gun down WizK, but he's already at full insanity. That purple bar maxed out, meaning that his honor talent, Edge of Insanity, is activated. He takes 20% less damage. He's very unlikely to go down with that extra damage reduction paired with Earth Shield. So it is likely that we see Shore go on to Peekaboo in the future, unless WizK opens himself by casting the spell Void Eruption. So I would like to see Shore switch targets unless that opportunity occurs. And that's one of the difficult things about going up against RPS right now is you really don't have a good target if you go on peekaboo then whiz k is free he's able to get them uh, the mind controls he just used the life grip on the ab search to break the polymorph for now oh. a huge swap over on his swag can they just take him down iron bar cloak of shadows everything traded out i don't even think they had cc on flop that was just an unbelievable amount of damage a nice smoke bomb coming in from the gosu crew and now the shore they uh, don't really have much left to work with i mean this this should be the gosu crew's game at this point they're switching to Serral, trying to force some hots swap to him they can't really attack swag as he's retreated away. Actually gets Earth Crab. Flop gets swapped to in a kidney shot. Unlikely to go down, but they managed to at least pull his bark skin, so now he's even vulnerable. Peekaboo overextending, though, getting stunned behind the pillar. Serral moves in, try and punish this overextension with a Comet Storm. They've got good crowd control onto the team. Peekaboo's actually alone in this position. Potential opening here, but they dropped the ball. The chain's broken. Nice wind shear. Swack now into a kidney shot and on the back foot. Flop peels for him with a well-timed cyclone on Peekaboo, though. Yep, Peekaboo should be safe. He has his trinket, he has his vanish. Those are basically a get out of jail free card, so he can push behind. There's the cheap shot on flop. Fear on swack. He's all alone. No defenses, and I think they might be able to close it out triple. with this triple cap totem. Flop dispels it. Iron Bark's out as well. Swack might the show. <laughs> live. And that is what I like to call the move. The Gosu crew, they've sort of patented this talent that the, or this racial that the pandas have, and they utilize that swack so can keep a target in place. He can do quite a bit of damage with that ice form build with the frigid grass um, that we've seen may just run in this tournament so far. Curious to see. Swacked got found in stealth the last game. That's devastating, especially as subtlety frost. He cannot get found in stealth. So Mind Seer casted on Peekaboo means that Peekaboo is a shadow AoE tossed around him. If he goes near anybody in stealth, he will pull them out. So Whiz case spamming Mind Seer on multiple targets to try and catch them. But Swack snuck in behind him. Now he gets to get an opener. This is a completely different start for the team shore. Yeah, Peekaboo opens with a Garot though on Cyril to sort of deny any sort of damage. Oh, the blind gets broken by the pet attack. That is so unfortunate. They're not going to be able to punish the Gozu crew at all with that. So huge misplay from Shore very early on. I mean, they need blinds if they're ever going to win this game. Now they're on the back foot. Swack gets stun locked. He trinkets, but he doesn't trade cooldowns. Bit of a greedy play, but he will survive. Flop activates Tree of Life, so unlikely that anyone in his team is going to be under pressure. So the Gosu crew are basically at a moment of pause, looking to get crowd control. But they actually walk into a bit of a trap here as Shore set up triple crowd control. Unfortunately, they're going after the Edge of Insanity Shadow Priest. So 20% less damage on the Shadow Priest in this position. He got Vampiric Embrace as well, which it lets all of his damage heal. He's basically untouchable in that position. Nice swap on Peekaboo. This is the target that they need to be on. He's really the only vulnerable one in this composition. That was all their burst. Oh. They brought Peekaboo to... 80% HP. Now Swax getting swapped to cheap shot into cheap wow. shot, kidney shot into cheap shot into cheap shot. And Ghostu Crew, they close it out very early on. The shore, they just can't find any damage in this matchup. Yeah, Ghostu Crew looking better and better as the series goes on. And Ghostu Crew, two up in this series, and they're looking to make it a third, a quick 3-0 here on the tables for Peekaboo and Crew. The Ghostu Crew look untouchable here against Shore in the upper bracket. They're looking to assert dominance in the North American region. They want to be the number one seed, the highest point earners, so that way they can get a weaker opponent at the BlizzCon Finals and start their road there. We see Swack to Peekaboo. Actually, Peekaboo getting sapped, but the mine seer actually didn't hit swag that's a bit unfortunate swag gets a great start here Cyril trying to follow up with crowd control everybody locked down and they're hitting the right target this time going after peekaboo not the edge of insanity shadow priest but even with that perfect setup all they pull is faint this is a terrible start for sure well it was a good start in theory but peekaboo just not taking any damage i mean Cyril committed basically everything there but faint's going to deny a lot of that 
Now Peekaboo is moving on to target once again. It seems like Swact is their main focus in this matchup. Full blind now on Flopped. Swact with a Shadow Step Kidney on a Peekaboo. Very nicely done with a nice blind onto Absurge. Still just not finding any damage. A little bit of burst coming in now with the Polymorph over on Absurge. Cyclone on Wiz K. Sure, doing an insane job with their cross crowd control, but the Gosu crew, they're looking to get aggressive. All right, Peekaboo pre cloak of shadowing that kidney shot. Now he's looking to build momentum with that vendetta popped. Switching between Serral and Swact, trying to maybe not attack into Iron Bark. Doesn't want to deal with the extra damage reduction. Starting a crowd control chain on Absturge. Stun. Massive spell. Nice utility by Wiz K. They follow up with another Cyclone at least, but there's just no damage. Peekaboo has traded evasion, which is a little bit of a lead for sure, but now they're on the back foot. Swacked in a kidney shot. Flop tried to go for a Tranquility, but canceled it instantly to try and bait a Fake Cast on that wind shear. Gets silenced anyway. Absturge in a Polymorph. Peekaboo pre-faints, expecting to get stunned with his healer crowd control. That's a nice read, but sure, wait for it. Then they cycle on him. Then they switch to Absturge. He pre-walled the kidney shot. Absturge expecting that swap, reading the situation, and denies a kill. Yeah, I'd be really interested to see what Azerite traits Peekaboo is using for defensive uh, capabilities, because if he's using the one where anytime he gets stunned, he gets healed up. That's going to be very effective against the Subtlety Rogue to basically not die to these swaps. All right, Panda Racial on flop. Absurge going across the map for that into a cap totem. Clean setup. Swacked could be in trouble as the crowd control chain is secured. Will Iron Bark be enough defense for Swacked to survive in this position? Looks to be the case with Faint paired up with it, but Mana not looking too good. Shore are losing on multiple fronts. They have maybe another two setups to end this before I think the Ghost Crew are walking away 3 0. Well, the Ghost Crew, they just have so many tools to deal with these swaps. I mean, with case, they'll have the Life Swap. Absurge has Spear Link Totem. Peekaboo still has his Trinket. There's really not too many openings. Absurge is going to get swapped too once again. Cyril needs to get there. Ice Form gets popped. A lot of burst damage coming in. Whisk needs to help him out. Potentially, Absurge is going to keep himself alive though as he moves away and peekaboo or sean's with a kidney shot onto swack with a silence over on a flop he has no trinket swack could just go down right now with the smoke bomb so he gets lower and lower trying to kite away manages to escape barely with his life all right mana is starting to really get tapped for flop apps are just still sitting comfortably at almost full mana Ice form not available for 30 seconds. Swack is popping Shadow Blades to make something happen. They're going after Wiz K, but with Edge of Insanity, he takes 20% less damage. It's really unlikely that he's going to go down, I think, in this position. Even with Shadow Blades from Swack, that boost of damage not enough. Wiz K gets cycled. They switch targets. I like this move. Trying to go after a more vulnerable target, but Absurge is already in position. Spamming out Riptides in the line. Peekaboo to easily recover. Silent Stun combo forces Swack to Trinket. So now, no Trinket, no Cloak of Shadows, no Trinket on the Druid, no mana. I mean, this is is looking better and better for the Gosu crew. Oh, they just need one clean setup, one kidney shot with any CC over on the flop. They could do a silence and a quaking palm into they fear, anything like that. They have blind, says Zico, so blind is an option as well. And if they just blind and kidney shot, I, I think the Gosu crew is going to 3 0 this series. Ooh, they tried to do something cheeky there going after Absurds, then switching targets back to Peekaboo. They at least managed to pull his trigger, but now Swax is caught in that kidney shot. This could be devastating for the shore. It's match point in the upper bracket as Gosu Crew look to assert dominance. Swacked is dangerously low. Flop has almost no mana. Innervate timed. All of his spells are free. He's got a couple seconds to cast some expensive big heals before that runs out. He's managed to recover and stay in the fight just a little bit longer. With that opening on Peekaboo, perhaps they pull off the miracle. Yeah, Flop, look, he's he's going down. He's trying to get out of combat, looking for a drink, but Peekaboo is immediately denied that. Full blind, looking for the stun over on the Swack. That's it. That's going to close out this game. I believe Silence now over on the Flop as well, but they're not finding the damage. Thomas Storm connects over on a Peekaboo, but he deflects that easily, and Swack somehow survives that setup. Nicely done, but still, uh, he's not out of the woods yet. Crowd control is still going on Flop. Double Panda Racial. Swack goes for the Smoke Bomb play. This was the miracle. Will it be enough damage? No. Peekaboo will survive. That was the only opportunity that Shore had been working so hard to get to and they don't get anywhere with it. Now it's basically a complete reset on cooldowns. They're, they're not going to get that smoke bomb for so long. Flop just tapped on mana. We've just stepped into dampening. It's only going to become more and more difficult. Silence on Flop. Swack and Serral both down almost to half health. Flop has a lot of work and not a lot of mana to do, to do it with. Everybody is dying. Wiz K is digging in. Swack vanishes to avoid dying, but Serral is still low. He panic pops Ice Form to try and make a miracle happen here with the last seconds of blind. They go for a cycle and they have to kill Peekaboo with Wiz K in a cycle. They have to kill him now. Will they be able to do it? Yes, oh, they actually wow. do it. They pull off the miracle. They crack the defense and manage to put a point on the board. I cannot believe Shore managed to do that. That was insane play. Cross crowd control and burst. Like, very well done. Look oh. at Flop's mana bar as well. Like, <laughs> that was literally the last 
Cyclone left in the tank there. That was a really nice setup. It was a very nice setup. And I mean, they've gone from a team that was struggling to pull a single trinket to pulling them all, finding the victory. And for sure, it was difficult, but they were able to manage it. And now they pull them here to take down Shaw. I know you're backstage, Rich, so this is for you. Ruins of Lordaeron, as it is a cemetery, would be a fitting final resting place for sure as the Gosu crew look to advance. Like I said, it just always so happens that they pick this map on what could potentially They do it for Sid. Yeah, they just do it for Sid. That's got to be true. <laughs> So we're going to have to see Shore. They're going to have to pull off a miracle once again because Ghostu Crew, they've been looking bulletproof. What was that? Yeah, they smoke open bomb? up. Absurge looking like he's going to get kidneyed. They're committing a lot of damage onto him right now. A lot of bursts. They managed to pull out the Astral Shift. He's going to be able to survive with that, but that's a small victory for it, Shore early it, on. It, it, why did Swack smoke bomb? That was his first button of the game. I think he actually smoke bombed Cyril so he could get off his damage without being interrupted. Okay, that's cheeky, but it didn't net them a kill. Now they're switching targets to Peekaboo, which is basically the, the only vulnerability, I think, in this matchup is to take him out like they did in that last game, but it, it requires so much effort, so many perfect attempts executed in a row, and now in Ruins of Lordaeron with really nowhere to hide, so much open field for WizK to uh, free cast on, and they can chase them down. It's going to be incredibly difficult for sure to be able to take the Ghost crew down. Yep, Flop trinketed the blind, committed his Iron Bark, and now they make a swap over onto Swack. They're kind of baiting them into thinking Cyril is a good target. Now Kidney shot on Absurge once again. A big amount of burst, but I think Absurge should be able to survive this. Still has the Earthen Shield totem, and now Peekaboo back on target. Garot into Kitty shot. Silence on the Flop. Swack has to trinket out. He has the Cloak of Shadows. He has the Evasion as well. It wants to reverse the pressure over onto Peekaboo. This is a nice setup from Shore once again. Yep, they managed to pull faint, unfortunately, only from Peekaboo. So that's not going to really net them any powerful cooldowns moving forward. Peekaboo has Vendetta available. He's got Smoke Bomb. Guess what Swack doesn't have? He doesn't have a Trinket. He can't get out of that. If Swack is two for... There it is, Kidney Shot. Smoke Bomb. Flop is out of position. He's trying to run into the Smoke Bomb and walks into his Psychic Scream. Perfect crowd control set up here by the Gosu crew as they advance to the upper bracket. Clean and clinical. The Gosu crew with a quick win here on game three. Walt and Feed versus the fake Zebras. We're all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.